record on this. Okay, that's great. Now I will put up the pictures first. And Louisa, you are going to go first because you were the first person to say yes to the class. So hold on. Yeah, thank you. Yes, yes. I picked one. Actually, I picked one. Excellent. That's superb. I've I've just been doing these with Irina. Um, Irina is actually my Russian teacher, and we do these pictures in classes. It's what I like using for learning a, a foreign language. And so I've just done this one. Uh, uh, no, not this one. In fact, I did. <laughs> We've gone to a different page. I did that one. I did this uh, this one about the dog. But which one have you chosen? Yeah, the one at page uh, thirty six. 36. Mm. Okay, let's see if we can find 36. Mm. Oh, there we, go. we just went past it. This one, yeah. This one, Louisa? Uh, no, actually, uh, my. Uh -huh. uh, it's 36 on the um, PDF, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's the one, yeah, this one where okay. we can see this monk, yeah. Okay, excellent. So what can you see in the first picture? We'll just turn off my air conditioning because it's a bit noisy. <laughs> and so in the first picture, I see uh, a monk um, while he's pr praying uh, to God. Good. But uh, in a beautiful woman is passing by and he tries to not look at her. Good. But after uh, passing by another woman, uh, he uh, tries just to glance her, glance at her a little bit. He just glances at her, just a little glance, yeah, an innocent glance. Yeah, innocent gl glance. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it looks like that uh, he is um, um, he's forgetting uh, his devotion to God. <laughs> okay, yes, he's made some oaths, yeah, he has made some oaths before God that he must keep. He has made some oaths. Some yeah, an oath, oath is like a promise. Yes, means some hopes, but uh, maybe uh, because in the second in the sec second picture we see, um, I see that um, is like it, 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 uh, it, it looks like in, in two minds uh, when uh, uh, other two uh, beautiful women uh, are passing by and uh, he uh, doesn't uh, manage to uh, refrain uh from um looking at her at them good and um after this uh i i would say uh is experiencing a, a kind of conflict between <laughs> yeah between the 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 good and um evil evil good excellent yeah yeah because in the third uh in the third picture i see that um he's focusing on the back side of this women passing by <laughs> good good excellent i agree <laughs> yeah and just uh after a little bit uh he tries to uh, ask her to marry him because uh in the end i see that he becomes a father and uh, uh, first a husband and a father so isn't isn't a monk anymore <laughs> and yeah and I I I liked this picture so much because it's a, a kind of truth uh, uh, when it comes to um, to experience this conflict between devil good and evil because uh, it's not only uh, for a monk but for everyone. Good. But in, in this case, this monk uh, have made uh, oh have made uh, a vow or oath. And made a vow, made a vow, good, yeah, a vow, an oath, it's the same, they're synonyms, he has made a vow, he has made an oath, and vow is very common, yeah, he has made a vow, you can say a vow of chastity here, just because a vow of chastity is where you, you promise that you will not have a relationship with anybody, yeah, if you are chaste, then like a virgin, you, you don't have a relationship with anybody, you are a chaste person, a chaste monk. Yeah, but definitely... Um, it turns it turns out that he um uh, done uh, didn't respect this vow of chastity. Good, good. Yeah, he didn't keep this vow, and we often say keep a vow, keep a promise. He didn't keep, keep this promise. vow of chastity. Absolutely, he couldn't resist. And what do we say? Can you imagine which noun we say here? He couldn't resist the temptation. Good, excellent. That's exactly what I'm <laughs> waiting for. He couldn't resist temptation. 
Yeah, it's a very common phrase for when you're dealing with this. He was resisting. He was resisting in the first few pictures. He just glanced. He was looking, but not touching. And in the end, he couldn't resist temptation. Yeah. Excellent. And... Keep going. Keep going. Sorry. Yeah, I was thinking that um, I. It's just my personal opinion. I don't find. I don't find right. I don't find it right uh, because uh, a monk is just a, a man and he needs to satisfy his uh, desire. So why uh, he had to? He has to uh, re re refrain from having uh, sex or having a relationship. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Ha having a loving relationship. I, I totally agree with you. He shouldn't need to resist temptation. And I don't see any evil in becoming a father and starting yeah. a family yeah, and uh, pushing the pram along with the child. Of course, it's the start of a new life, a new era for, for the monk. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose that this happens quite often as well. <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, I imagine that it does happen often that people yeah, don't respect their vows. Yeah, sometimes I find, I find it a, a kind of hypocrisy because maybe they just wear this... Uh, um, this... Uh, Oh my goodness! Clerical, clerical dress. Yeah, clerical and... clothes. You could say clerical yeah. clothes. I think it's a robe that we would call that yeah. uh, a monk's robe. I would a call that, that kind of long. Um, it's it goes the whole way down. Um, yeah, that's a monk's robe. It's monk's clothes. It's clothing. Yeah, maybe they just wear this um, robe, and. Um, in um, in a secret, secretly, secretly, mm. they uh, behave in a in a, a questionable way. So I prefer to see uh, him just uh, uh, as uh, the other man without any uh, robe uh, on. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. You feel as though there's a certain amount of self deception. Yeah, in becoming a monk or or something like that, or taking a vow of chastity. Yeah, I I think uh, every one of us are just uh, flesh, uh, made of flesh. Flesh we and blood, flesh. yeah, flesh and blood. We yeah, often blood. say it's a binomial, really, but yeah, each every one of us is just flesh and blood. Flesh and blood. So we need natural uh, natural desires, and we it's sometimes we need to resist from this temptation. Even we have a, another relationship with our husband or our, our wife. But it's a natural way to behave in this earth. But uh, when it comes to um, hide uh, the, the questionable uh, behavior, I find it uh, a kind of uh, uh, hypocrisy. No, hypocrisy. It... Hypocrisy. You said it correctly a second yeah, ago. Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. So I I disagree with this kind of uh, <laughs> vows of um, of chastity. But maybe yeah, maybe. There are uh, sincere people that um, that um, try that uh, successfully uh, resist tem some temptations. Yes. So um, hats off on them. <laughs> hats off to them. Hats off to them. Hats off to them. If they can do it, yeah. Hats off to them. If they can make a vow of chastity yeah. and keep it, hats off to them. Yeah, hats off to that. Yeah, that's a good expression. Hats off to somebody when you want to congratulate somebody for, uh, yeah, for what they've done or how they've behaved. We do often say hats off to that person. Hats off to them. Yeah, so, uh, uh, if I want to, if I want to ex express the idea of uh, someone who tries to uh, have a, a a kind of facade. Um, uh, for a good facade, for example, but I I have no idea about the the verb to use when it comes to uh, show your uh, mm, your facade, but it's not true. So to show a full side of yourself, yeah, to to. Oh. Uh, in, a not... verb, in a verb, for if, if I want to use a, a a specific verb to define this action, which which kind when you, of do you mean verb? pretend when you pretend to be somebody yeah. that you're not? Yeah. Yeah, project, or project to project. Project is possible, but it's psychological project. Or deceive, and deceive. Deceive is a little bit different from project and from the other word we just said. <laughs> I forgot a little. In Italian, we say pretend. pretend. Uh, yeah, you've got, pretend. You, um, you've got project, pretend, and deceive. They're all slightly different here. If you project, um, this is very common, and it's a psychological word, and it's when somebody. 
Um, I think we all do this. I think parents very often do it with their children as well. Um, uh, so, for example, <laughs> I spend a lot of time on my mobile phone, on my screen, uh, on my devices. And when I see my son doing it, I don't like it. And I tell him off. But really, I'm projecting my own dislike of my own behavior because, I, you know, I sit on the screen a lot and I'm projecting it onto him. And so projection is when you project your own faults onto somebody else. It's very, you know, I would say it's very different from pretend or deceive. You know, um, so when you project, you put your own faults onto other people. Um, it's something we all do, you know, very often. If you if you notice that you complain about something with other people, sometimes when you look at yourself, you yes. think, actually, I'm complaining about myself and I'm projecting the, that fault which I have onto other people. So it's a very specific psychological word, project. You project your faults onto others. That's the way it works. Project your faults onto other people, onto others. And there is also uh, Jung, who, who yes, says that certainly it's a Jungian yes. idea. I totally yes, agree. Yes. It comes from yes. the psychologist Jung, um, yes. first and foremost. Who, who says that talks... when uh, when you dislike something in someone, it's always about yourself. Yeah, it's actually a, a sign that it, of your own faults. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. It's only, I... it's only shadow. Exactly. Your... Exactly. Yeah, he talks about shadow. the shadow, and so th this part of yourself which you project onto other people, but is actually the bad side of yourself. Yes. And so, yeah, that's a very specific term. Pretend is usually pretend to be. And so yeah, you normally see the verb to be after pretend, pretend to be a policeman, pretend to be a doctor. Um, you know, if you pretend, then you are not actually that person, but you're pretending to be that person. Think... Oh, Dave, you know what? I found just just now I found the the verb uh, that uh, translate my Italian idea about this behavior. Uh -huh. I, I, don't, I don't know the pronunciation, but it's Spain. Spain. F E I. -G. Okay, yeah, that's like Spain. deceive. I would say deceive is very similar to feign. You might feign illness. It's quite an old fashioned word, feign. I want to warn you that it's quite old fashioned. Um, it sounds exactly the same as another mm -hmm. old fashioned word, which is feign, F A I N, which means gladly, happily. That's very old fashioned now, though, that vein. That's a different type of word. It's not a verb. It's um, an adverb and it means gladly, happily. But feign like deceive. Yeah, you can feign illness, feign sickness. It's very often collocates like that. You know, uh, if you don't want to go to work, you might feign illness. Um, and so, yeah, it's it's uh, quite old fashioned, though. I want to warn you that some people won't use that word anymore. They're more likely to use um pretend <laughs> they're more like my pretending sick my dictionary is uh, really old fashioned <laughs> yeah I, i mean sometimes it's just the the closest word that they can get to the italian word and it happens to be an old fashioned word it, and it's the closest word because of the way we use it in certain collocations perhaps it's very close to the italian But um, yeah, it is quite old fashioned and you can even see it with that E-I-G-N. That's quite an old fashioned kind of spelling <laughs> as well. You don't often, well, very often when you see a word with that kind of spelling, it's quite often old fashioned. I'm thinking about Dane here. I think Dane is a word which is old, old fashioned when you deign to do something. I'm not sure I've got that one right. But anyway, let's move on. <laughs> it's just such an old word. It, yeah, it, it is Dane. Fun. To condescend, to give, to grant, but very, very old fashioned word there. To do something unwillingly, reluctantly is deign to do, if she deigns to reply to my letter. But um, very old fashioned word again. Okay, let's move on. We're, we're, we've got to, we've got to cut, uh, get through five pictures if possible today. So we'll go through on to Haymal. Hey, Are you there, Haymal? Hey, can you hear us? Yes, Dave, I can hear you. Excellent. Do you have any questions first, Hey Mark? Because I saw that you'd asked some questions on the website. Do you want to start with any of your questions? Uh, yes, Dave. Uh, have uh -huh. you seen that my last question that uh, it's about that, uh, it's from that... Uh... I think, yeah, uh -huh. I think you were asking about... Uh, let me, I've lost the page, unfortunately, which I had said something about. About any more than, yeah? Any more than, yeah? Any more than. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this is like a... Um, I don't want to say it's a conjunction without thinking about it properly. But uh, let me just give you an example. I mean, there's a very good explanation of uh, not any more than on this website. And so I can give you the, the link if I can find where the chat is. Where's the chat? 
Let me just hold on. The chat is down here. Uh, do, do you have something reading about that? Yeah, there's a link Grammar there point? for how is any more than used to compare two different situations, two different negative situations. And uh, it's a great example. Um, it gives you a lovely sentence here, which I, I think is a really good, clever sentence as well. Going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than going to a garage makes you a car. Um, that's how it's used. It's used to compare two different negative situations. And you use it to, to show that something is ridiculous, preposterous. And that's how we use that, not any more than. Yeah, so going to, to, going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than going to a garage makes you a car. So it's kind of like a correlative conjunction, yeah, where you're joining two different clauses and comparing them. Yeah, do you understand? Okay, thank you. Yes. Yeah, that's a good uh, question. And it's not... You, know it's that, not... Uh, you, you had mentioned that uh, you are giving a special discount for your newsletter subscribers. Uh, but Sorry? it didn't work actually that coupon okay yeah sometimes they're only they're only for a few days hey mal i'm sorry that's the way it is with discounts you only get the discounts for a few days uh, no i i i, I actually <laughs> tried uh, as soon as i got the email uh, uh -huh. yeah anyway, uh -huh. anyway i bought it at uh, current offer at 10 okay, because i yeah. couldn't wait anymore you know, what I tell my kids always in this situation is you snooze, you lose. Yeah, you snooze, you lose. It means you sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, okay, it's okay because it is very, very, okay. very innovative course. I'm really enjoying your course, Dave. But yeah, I mean, I think they're all really cheap. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, uh, this innovation. So do you want to do a picture now? Should we show you one of the pictures? Yeah, uh, the, the, the penultimate one. Okay, the penultimate one, did you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Yeah. Okay, we'll yes. do the penultimate one. Let's go. So, right down here, the one before the last one. Yeah. This one? Or do you, is there a different one that you would like to do? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We can see a man uh, sitting on a bench, and a uh, uh, burly guy comes, and uh, he has his uh, the, uh, sitting man has his uh, hat uh, side on him on the bench, and a uh, burly guy. Uh, uh, bald burly guy comes and sits on his head Good. and uh, he gets he, he notices that uh, he, he notices that his uh, head is crushed by sitting this uh, guy and he gets uh, mad at him and uh, good crushed so, by this guy uh, yeah crushed by this guy sitting down good uh, he he uh, uh, he draw draws him uh, at his collar and uh, we wouldn't usually say draw for collar. grabs him by the collar he grabs him by yeah, the collar grabs. yeah it's good it, yeah. i know what you mean by draw you can draw up a chair but he grabs him by the collar sorry that would be the best way of saying it. he grabs him by the collar good yeah he grabs him by the collar and uh, he says that uh, see what uh, have you done to my hat what have you done and, to my uh, hat? Absolutely. What have you done to my hat? Good. Sorry, I cannot see. It. Sorry. Can you see the can you see the picture, guys? I don't yes. see. Yeah? Is it is it clear to everybody? Is it working? Clear working. Yeah, it's working. Okay, sorry. Okay, so oh, you, I don't see it. you don't see it, no? Go. No, I, I see only your picture your face. Can you uh, try um uh where, where um, did you try put, closing that the window where we can see all of our faces? Try closing that one or minimizing it. Should be possible to minimize it. Yeah, mm -hmm. is it working now? Is it is sharing on my screen? Can you still see it, Hey Mole? Hey Mole. Yeah, I, I I can see. I think okay. uh, sometimes when your network is slow, you do not get the transfer. Okay, keep going. Yeah, okay. So he grabs uh, him now, uh, yeah, yeah, in the, yeah. In the in the next picture, we can see uh, another man has uh, come to this bench. He's uh, smoking a pipe, and uh, he uh, ra he looks rather uh, self uh, reflect ref self reflecting. He's reflecting uh, absolutely. And, He's in uh, deep in contemplation. Yeah, deep in contemplation, deep in thought. So this guy comes again. And he uh, sits again on his hat and crushes crushes it. Good and crushes the hat. Uh, but uh, yeah, crushes the hat. And uh, this guy uh, looks at uh, that. What's this guy uh, just uh, done to his hat? And 
he uh, he takes his hat and uh, he has taken his hat and uh, wearing this uh, wearing that crushed hat and he smokes his pipe he is uh, he has taken what has happened what well, can we call this uh, feeling how how can we describe this person how can we describe his reaction Um, yeah, there's a good word here for when you is, don't uh, feel anything about when you're completely unemotional. Indifference. indifferent. Indifferent. Good. He is indifferent to the the crushed hat, or he is indifferent to this situation. Very good. Indifferent to. Okay. Keep uh, going. In the uh, yeah, in the next picture, uh, another uh, uh, person, a lanky guy, has come to the bench, good. and uh, he has a, a long uh, hat. And uh, on a side him on his on the bench, and uh, this uh, same uh, guy comes again and he crushes the head, and uh, he uh, is uh, shocked. He, the the uh, lanky guy shocks uh, at uh, uh, that his uh, head is crushed, and uh, he shows it to this uh, burly bald guy, and he he, he cries that. Uh, what you have done and uh, good what can we say with uh, burst he bursts that. how can we put it with burst he yeah bursts. yeah he burst into tears he burst tears. into tears he balls his eyes out remember this as well guys because it is really common he balls his eyes out he cries his eyes out if you want to make cry stronger then use out use the preposition out he balls his eyes out he cries his eyes out he bursts into tears it's much more um visual and you know uh, it's um, perhaps more interesting way of saying it, you know, he starts crying. Okay, excellent. Keep going. And the last guy. Yeah, uh, in the next, uh, yeah, in the next picture, uh, uh, a gentleman with a suit comes and uh, he sits on. Uh, he notices. He notices that uh, the same guy has again uh, crushes his hat, and he uh, uh, he. Uh, he, he, he says uh, to that uh, guy that you have uh, crushed my head and uh, he takes it and uh, he, 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 he finds uh, that uh, rather funny, not uh, something to cry or uh, uh, to get angry, to get mm -hmm. mad at. Good, good. He doesn't get mad at it. He's not indifferent to it either. Yeah, he doesn't get uh, upset about it. He doesn't start crying. What does he do? You burst. Yeah, he, he burst into uh, laughter. Good. He bursts into laughter or he bursts out laughing. And so it's a bit difficult with laughter. It's bursts out laughing or bursts into laughter. Both correct. You know, both both 100% you, you correct. Think burst, sorry, using burst is not, is, is polite? For me, yeah. it feels a little yeah. bit unpolite. But yeah, uh, there's nothing impolite about burst. It's fine. It's neutral. Yes. You know, it's mm -hmm. neither polite nor impolite. It's neutral. It's just a norm. It's just it adds more expression to the language to say he bursts out laughing or he bursts into tears. It makes it more expressive. It makes it more uh, um, emotional uh, to set, to use language like that. If you just say he starts crying or he starts laughing, it doesn't sound as emotional to me or as uh, as interesting, if I'm honest, as an English teacher. I like hearing new phrases and interesting phrases. And I, I know that the natives very often say he bursts out laughing, he bursts into tears, he bawls his eyes out. Yeah, he laughs his head off is another one which we say very often. He laughs his head off. Yeah, his head off. Notice we use these prepositions out, off, to make verbs stronger very often and so he laughs his head off he cries his eyes out yeah okay that was excellent hey Marl. let's go on to yoko next and yoko have you chosen a picture yes uh the page 157 157 okay let's find 157 one second let me move you guys out of the way <laughs> 157 and is that on the pdf or on the uh book uh the one in the book Okay, let's have a look. So is it the one with this the one? painting? Yeah, this yes. one? Okay, that's right. what can you see? Okay, uh, okay, I'll start. Uh, a man has a hobby uh, of painting. One day he is proud of his work and uh, his wife and children 
are glad to see his work right. and they admire us and they admire and they admire it uh, it's a transitive uh, verb yeah, yeah they admire it. they admire the painting it or they admire him perhaps <laughs> yeah oh, exactly it must have an object admire you can't just admire i admire like like yeah like always has an object and like love you can't say i love you've got to say i love it i like it i admire it yeah however uh... Once he's and um, sorry, how, however he sees uh, his figure on on the mirror. And... In the mirror, in the mirror, he in looks mirror. at himself in the mirror. We always say in the mirror. It's always in for mirror, mm -hmm. like in the picture. He finds himself not uh, as artist, but uh, as businessman. He is not satisfied. Okay. Yeah, he's not he satisfied won't... with his appearance. Yeah, he's not mm -hmm. satisfied with his appearance. He wants to change it in some way. Yes, he wants to try to make something more artistic. Okay. Yeah. First, mm. uh, first uh, he may makes his hair loose, and okay. secondly, he wants to change his clothes. So he Good. finds nice. Uh, Big, uh, this is no Normandy traditional setup, <laughs> and uh, he finds this can make something. Uh, <laughs> so he artistic. finds a nice sweater, yeah, a nice mm. big sweater, a nice big jump on. Mm. Mm. And, and this salesman insists on the quality of the sweater, and uh, it, it can really make himself as artist. Good. And he make him look on. like an artist. Yeah, look like an artist. And he put on. Good. Put put it on. Eh? He put and put it on. Yeah, he put it on. Good. He let uh, his family see his uh, new style. Good. And they are surprised, but uh, they accepted. Good. His new style positively, and now. He is convinced, so he wants to uh, continue to make himself more artistic. Good. What does he describe his face for me as well? What does he not do for a few days or for a few weeks? Yeah, he yes, the he cut his hair and he grow his uh, mustache. Good. He grows the mustache. He grows the beard. So he doesn't. Yeah. What word do we use for when you do this? He doesn't. Uh, go to hairdresser. Um, maybe, maybe the barbers, the hairdressers, but he doesn't shave. Yeah, he doesn't shave yeah. for a few days. He grows the moustache. He grows the beard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, he doesn't go to a barber's. Maybe mm -hmm. I must admit, I I just shave myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can okay. we say they, 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 he has a a a shave at five o'clock? A shave, something like that. You can say a shadow, a five ten o'clock shadow. It's normally shadow rather than shade. Shadow there, and yeah, it's. I think Stefano has this at the moment. Actually, uh, yes. he has a shadow. He hasn't shaved for a few yes. days. I've I've yes. had to shave for maybe a day. I'm lazy. I'm lazy. I understand. <laughs> I can I can not shave for a few days and nobody notices. I don't even get a shadow. I have a very small growth on my chin, and it take would take me a long time to grow a beard or a moustache. Okay, good. So yeah, he has some kind of shadow on his face because he hasn't shaved. And then he grows the moustache and beard long. Keep going. Okay. So even more, he tries. Now uh, he puts a beret on his head and puts a long shawl around his neck. Good. Yeah, a shawl, a scarf. And Yes, and he holds pipe, a pipe. Good, yeah, he's decided he needs a pipe to finish the look. <laughs> Good. And now he is quite uh, satisfied himself. He's proud. No, himself so again, he... he's quite satisfied. Now he's quite, sa oh, satisfied with himself, you can say. He's very pleased with himself. In fact, we say it all the time. Yeah, he's very pleased with himself. Yeah, he's very mm -hmm. satisfied with uh, his new pleased. look. Pleased? Also, pleased with himself. 
Yeah, we, with the yeah, weird, say he's satisfied with himself. Um, but I do it more often with pleased. He's very satisfied. He's very pleased with himself. Satisfied mm -hmm. always already kind of means with yourself. Okay. Now he wants to show himself as artist. Okay. Outside, so he visit uh, museum. Good. However. There are so, so many men who uh, were just like him, and he was, uh, yeah, disapp disappointed. Good. Okay. Yeah. With them, and and now he is again not really proud himself. Okay. So you think he's in the same position as he was at the start? Yeah. Yeah, it can be. I don't know. It's kind of gone in but a all, Although he did his best. <laughs> Good. So what do you think is the message? Is there a message here in this story? Let me see. Yeah, whatever you do, you will find somebody who think and, and who do almost the same as you. And you can find uh, your uniqueness and satisfaction in yourself, in your life. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> not not in your clothes, yeah, not in your clothes, but in yourself, yeah. And I, if I say outer look, is yeah, outer outer look, outer look, outer appearance, outer look, outer appearance, yeah. you know, outer. both work. Outer look or outer look, outer look, outer, Out, look. Yeah, outer, outer, look. outer or outward. I think outward also works here. Outward appearance, outward, um, mm -hmm. like that. Outward look, outward appearance. I think we use both of those. Mm -hmm. Outer, I think, is more common. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, you can also talk, talk about how you look on the surface. I think we often talk about on the surface. With clothes, you obviously wear them on the surface of your body. And so it's uh, how you look on the surface, but not perhaps deep down inside. Yeah? Yes. Okay, excellent. That was very good for that picture. That was really good, Yoko. I want you to... Uh, Come back next week because there will be classes. It will be, next week will be like this week because we enjoyed camping so much. We're going to go again, so I won't be here Monday or Tuesday so next week. Wednesday is yes. okay. Next exactly. week is easier for me. It's and okay. I, think, Wednesday, I think it will be like Wednesday today as well. You know, half past ten, something like that. I like this time. I do. It's it's very it suits, it suits me well. It means that I can have my Russian class first and then come on to this class, and so it's good for my timetable. And so, yeah, it will probably be this time next week on Wednesday, okay. but yeah, no, I, no Monday. I keep it in my mind. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And keep an eye on the grammar shed the day before, because I usually put up um, the, <laughs> the the notes then and, uh, yeah, just write your name down. OK, brilliant. Let's go on to Stefano. Stefano, do you have a picture or do you have something you want to discuss? No, yeah, yeah. we can talk, babe. Uh, no yeah. problem. OK, what would you like to uh, do? First, uh, firstly, uh, I want to say that I want to I wanted to say that um, last week uh, I couldn't come because uh, you know I wrote also in the grammar shed, no, uh, because I was the one to choose uh, uh, um, uh, four o'clock, four o'clock okay. London, yeah, London so. time. The problem is that uh, working, going by train when uh, it's August, they cut trains, so <laughs> I I I need to. To get the train uh, uh, later, later, uh -huh. and so, or I I can follow the lesson in train, but I don't think that is the the best option. Uh -huh. uh, I or I I can't I can't attend. I'm always I'm always all ears anyway for any other suggestions for time. So I really am. Uh, so just let me know if you're, there's a different time which you want to. And then and then I never and then, have uh, demanding, you know I don't. Uh, and then since uh, since uh, uh, you know. When I when I I go out of uh, uh, when I go out I, when I go out to get to get the train it's really cold it's uh -huh. it's cold because it's six o'clock in the morning not not really cold but it's cold and then on uh, uh, when I get on the train it's colder because the air, air conditioning okay and then it started to become hot and then forty degrees and uh, in my office I don't like air conditioning in in the office of uh, my colleague, there is air conditioning. So my office, 40 degrees, other office, 20 degrees. So I got sick on Saturday and Sunday. 
so uh, I, I had fever and I didn't go to work uh, this week, no, because I, I need to to recover. This is this and, why you're here today, yeah? But at this yes, th th <laughs> okay. this is the reason why why I'm here today. So I wanted to specify that my best time is always uh, four o'clock London <laughs> time, which <laughs> okay. is five o'clock Italy. But uh, th this is what I wanted. And then I had a question that um, uh, one of my question. Uh, uh, which I draw from my uh, my TV series. Uh, this uh -huh. is uh, the bold and I wanted, Yeah, uh, I, I see. I wanted to hear uh, your your take about it. Uh, your take on this. Your take on this. I wanted to hear ah, your okay. take on this. Uh, your, uh, I wanted to hear your take on this. Good. There is a dialogue um, in which a character says, uh, "You don't want Caroline knowing about your day." So uh, I know that the rule is uh, I want you to yeah. I want to to <laughs> definitely. Ask definitely. Yes. So and uh, I found this already two times. Uh, Can you give me the, the whole sentence. I would like to know the whole sentence because I don't think it uh, would be exactly what you just said. I'm I'm suspicious that it's slightly different. Say the whole sentence. You don't want Caroline knowing about your day because knowing about this. Yes, it is possible. Yes, it is. It is possible. It's okay. And why? <laughs> bit, what? what? Because after oh, want is <laughs> so let's let's write it down quickly. You don't want Caroline knowing about your day, yeah? You don't. Yes, because because uh, I, I, I when when I when I was studying, I studied that uh, uh, I want you to x uh, yeah y. Uh, the good news no. is that you don't want Caroline to know about your day is one hundred percent yes. correct, and that's fine. Ah, uh, uh, okay, I do okay. I do agree that you can say you don't want Caroline knowing about your day. You do. You will hear it sometimes. Your date. Your date. Your date. date. Okay, your date. Your date. Yeah, you don't want Caroline knowing about your date. Um, yeah, it is possible. You don't want X having, you don't want X knowing, you don't want X doing. Yes, it is possible. You will hear it sometimes. Use the two plus infinitive if you want to always be correct. Uh, that's uh, right. And not sound strange. But I don't want somebody doing, knowing, having. Yes, it is possible. When, without the someone, it will always be two plus infinitive, I'm sure. You know, if you want to say, I want to do something, it will never be, I want doing, never. But right. want somebody to do and want somebody doing are both possible. They are both possible. I don't want to say they're the same because I'm sure that they're not. There's a slight difference. When you want somebody to do something and want somebody doing something, it sounds to me concrete and in the future with want somebody to do. It sounds to me like one mm. event, concrete in the future. The knowing sounds like a state to me. You don't want a certain state to be the case. Maybe in the future, and here it is obviously in the future. You don't want her knowing. See, something. because in that case, it's a state because the, the, the person doesn't want Caroline to know about the date. Uh, no, yeah, doesn't want Caroline to know or knowing mm. about the date. Knowing about the date uh, forever, not, not just now, exactly. also after. Uh, I, feel that... as though, I do feel as though it's only states which are possible with the gerund after the person. I feel as though it is only states. I mean, me, let me think of an action. You don't, you know, if it's one solid action in the future, I think it will be two plus infinity. For example, if I say you don't want Caroline running at the Olympics, is, is, is it possible? Yeah, that is possible, actually. You don't want her running at the Olympics. You can, <laughs> okay. you can, you can say that. You don't want him. In fact, maybe it's always possible. Maybe it is always possible. I would I'd quite like to find it in a dictionary as well, because I'm sure it will be there in something like Oxford Advanced Learners. And what I mean is when you look up want, I'm sure it will have some of want somebody doing something. And so I'll quickly have a look and see if it's there, because I think it will be there somewhere. Um, it's a good question, because you're right that we always teach it as want somebody to do uh, yeah. something. Um, and they got a lot. Yeah, well, yeah, they've got it down there. They have got it down there in Oxford Advanced Learners. I don't want you coming home so late. And so, yeah, it even looks like it's possible with actions, not just states, actually. Um, so here it is on this one here. And you can find it by scrolling down and you just you've got something. OK, they've got a lot of uh, I like the way Oxford do this. Notice they've got first want somebody to do something mm -hmm. and then. Uh, uh, yeah, they've got a note saying, notice that you cannot say want that. And that's a very good note because so many students do say want that and it's never correct. 
And then they've got to know, want somebody, something doing something. Yeah, and so they have got it down there. Want somebody or something. And this, this is uh, uh, to, uh, to avoid saying, uh, I want that. Uh -huh. uh, th they taught us to say, I want you to do X, X, yes. Y. Yes. Uh, uh, okay. But actually, that, there are many other forms. As you can see here, you can actually want something... Uh, you can you can want something and then adjective. You can want something done. They want him arrested. Yeah, they want him. And so there are other forms there. But yeah, I agree. As as teachers, we try to simplify it and say, it wants somebody to do something. And uh, yes. that is the best way for most situations. But uh, in, yeah. in, in, English never failed to amaze. Yeah, there's, all, there's always other forms failed. out there. There are always other uh, options out there. And yes, it, really. I constantly find new expressions. That one which uh, Haymal asked about earlier is quite an interesting one because I like correlative conjunctions and this any more than, you know, X, not X any more than Y is a nice way of comparing two negative situations. Yes. And, um, yeah, they, I, there's always more to learn with languages. I think that that's uh, in the nature of language. Uh, have you watched uh, an episode of uh, the, the TV series that I'm watching? The did you find the beautiful? Yes. Um, I did look at a little bit of one, but I didn't watch the whole episode, I must admit. Um, it's quite an old series and it's an American series. And it's hard for me to relate to the American shows. I mean, it's hard for me to relate. No, to I, what, what I want, uh, uh, I was interested uh, in about knowing uh, uh, your opinion, if it is uh, uh, valid to learn a language. Oh, yeah, of course. A any TV show is a good way of learning the language because you get a real, you get real... Uh, modern language and you know that it's how the natives are speaking because it's what they're watching it's what they're listening to and so i would say any tv show which is really popular in any of the english-speaking countries is worth watching and then as italian i'm sure that luisa knows about this tv series because luisa is uh, beautiful in italy uh, you remember beautiful yeah i have never watched it because i don't like the so long series yes I yes uh -huh, but, uh -huh, uh -huh. i understand you but uh luisa it's great for learning for learning english because it's sold dialogue no action at all uh, no sorry action where, where all. did you where did you find it in english uh, you know you know uh, cbs which is the uh, producer of uh, bold and the beautiful they made a uh, uh, YouTube channel all dedicated to the bold and the beautiful starting for starting starting from the first uh, series of 1987 really I saw how old can, it can was you link, can you link me the the website where I sure can... sure you. sure I, I will post the Ingram Marshall Okay. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, please put it up there. I really do recommend TV shows are a great way to learn the language. Of course, it, it, and whatever ones you enjoy watching, it, they're the best ones to use. I often watch YouTube channels for uh, I like mysteries. I like horror. I like anything which scares me, anything unusual or strange. I like murder. And for a long time, I was watching, it was a Russian typical show for going through murders that had happened around Moscow. Uh, you, you know, one, you, you know, one of my favorite, favorite, maybe my favorite uh, uh, TV show uh -huh. about murder, uh -huh. because I really like it so much. But uh, I try to, to watch it in English without subtitles. Uh -huh. And I'm... I found it much, much more difficult than The Bold and the Beautiful uh -huh. uh, because uh, there is mm, a more complex language. I uh -huh. found it much, much more harder. And this Dexter. Okay, Dexter. yeah, I know, the, I know the show. I know it's about a serial killer. I haven't actually ever yes. watched it myself, but the Americans do do a lot of shows like that with a lot of complicated language. And this, so and this is, is like yes, that as well. this is so great because they... Uh, it's all a metaphor. It's uh -huh. not because he is the serial killer of serial killer. So it's like a Nero because he, he works in the police department of Miami. And uh, uh, when police is in difficulty to find the killer or because when the maybe... police are in difficulty, it's, oh. it looks singular, but it's used plural, unfortunately. When the police are in difficulty. Okay, when the police are in difficulty... To, to catch a killer, huh? 
Uh, or... yeah, when they when they have difficulty to catch a killer, not when they are in difficulty to catch. When they have difficulty catching, I would put it like okay. that. When they have difficulty catching a killer, yeah, uh... difficulty is not an adjective. Difficulty, difficulties. <laughs> when they have difficulty catching a killer, or maybe he find out. Uh, or maybe the killer find out a way to escape justice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In this case, in these cases, Dexter will, uh, like will come in. Yeah. <laughs> he will, yes, he will, he will yes. uh, bring justice. Yeah, he will. Uh... Yes, he, he will bring justice. And but the problem is that he is constantly, he is constantly hiding his true self. Uh -huh. So it's not about the fact that there is a serial killer who kills uh, other killers. No, it's not like this. It's all about the situation of someone that need constantly hiding his true self so to everybody Someone who else. needs to constantly hide, yeah? Someone who needs hide, to hide. constantly hide, constantly his, hide. True his true self. And so uh, he, he, must, he, has, uh, he must always uh, deceiving he must always pretend to be someone else. He must always deceive. He must always pretend to be someone else. Okay. 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 Well, uh, let's move on to Irina. But that was that was superb. I just want to make sure Irina's not. <laughs> she's been waiting here for a long sorry, time. Sorry, sorry, Irina. Feel bad. Sorry, Irina. Irina, are you there? Can you hear us? <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> I chose my picture. It's uh, one hundred eighty-eight. Excellent. Okay, let's see if we can find that. Uh, can you see the uh, uh, pictures, Irina? Can you see it on the share screen? Yeah, I see the share screen. Excellent. And is it this? Is it one hundred and eighty-eight in the book? This one. Oh, stop. Yeah. yeah. This... Excellent. This is the one I was up to. Yeah, I'm going to do that one next next week. But okay, Irina, tell me what can you see in the first picture? Ah, uh, okay. I have a uh, man, uh, uh, old man, uh, and uh, a small dog. Uh, and the second picture, I I see a man uh, like take this dog and uh, make this dog a pe his pets. Yeah. Okay, he wants to make the dog his pet. Yeah, maybe he told him sit and he sat. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, and uh, after, oh, maybe he not. Uh, he. Don't uh, make this don't this dog's his pets. He he's uh, only uh, like make this. So he he strokes. We say stroke for that one. He doesn't make the dog his pet, but he strokes the dog. Yeah, we say oh. stroke the dog or stroke a cat, stroke a pet. And it's uh, st strokes a uh, dog's. Uh, uh, but dogs think as uh, he think. Oh, this good man. Uh, uh, this good man, uh, and uh, he. Uh, I go with him. I'll go yeah. with him. Yeah, I'll be his dog. Yeah, I will be uh, his dog. I will be his dog. Yes, and uh, man, uh, see, oh, who is this? Is this dog? So go out. I don't want. I don't want to make a pet. Uh, but uh, dog. Go away. Sounds better him. there. Sorry, Irina. Go away. He says. To, he tells the dog to go away. Go away. Go away. Go yes. and don't come back. Go away. Go away. Good. Uh, yeah, but dog, dog thinks another. <laughs> the dog thinks uh, otherwise. The dog uh, thinks uh, otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, otherwise. yeah. Uh -huh. Like Inacha, the dog thinks otherwise. Yeah, the dog thinks differently, you can say as well. The dog thinks differently, the dog thinks otherwise. Good. Uh, the dog thinks differently, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and uh, here, go to home. Oh, with this man and uh, go to and uh, he wait to uh, uh, become a man, go to the bed and uh, start to sleep and uh, <laughs> sleep uh, uh, in his bed. <laughs> and he sleeps in the same bed. Yeah, he gets into bed. We say get into bed and get out of bed, by the way. It's the same with cars. Get into a car, get out of a car, get into bed, get out of bed. Yeah. Bed or car, they're both the same verb. Get into bed, get out of bed, get into a car. Get, get into bed. Yeah. Good. yeah, he gets into bed. And you can even say he cuddles up to the man. Yeah, cuddle up to. 
Yeah, I've just been camping and it's very cold sometimes at night when you're camping. And so you cut, I cuddled up to my wife to stay warm. Yeah, to stay warm. But he cuddled. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Cuddle is like, <laughs> I don't uh, up to. yeah, cuddle uh -huh. is not omnimat, but uh, cuddle. Uh -huh. oh, cuddle oh, up to. You get closer, yeah. Yeah, when you get close to somebody and you cuddle up to somebody. Okay, excellent. I want you to do another picture, Irina, because I haven't oh. seen you in this class for a long time. And that was quite quick. So you have to do one more. Which picture? Oh. Which one, one more? Like? Okay, next picture. You, know, you gave me these pictures, so you know these pictures. You gave me this book. <laughs> <laughs> so, which which picture would you like? Oh, I don't next know. picture. Do it's next okay. Picture. Oh, we do it uh, today. We did it today. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Now it's time for me to get my revenge. It's your turn. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's uh, about dog uh, picture. It's a uh, serious serious pictures about dog. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I think this uh, next uh, story, this is not next story, this is uh, uh, like, uh, I don't know, Продолжение. It's like... a continuation of the same story. Continuation, yeah. A yeah. sequel, you can, can see as well, a sequel, but um, a continuation of the same story. Continuation, uh, yeah, it's the same story, it's before story about uh, this dog. It's this uh, man, uh, one show, uh, his dog, uh, uh, he meet uh, old friends uh, and uh, meets. Remember, it's got an S on the end when it's a. Uh, he meets, meets an old friend. He meets an old friend. Uh huh. He meets an old friend and uh, old friend uh, give a hand, a shock a hand uh, with a dog uh, leg. Good. He wants uh, to I'd... shake the dog's paw. We say the dog's paw. Uh, dogs have paws. They have four paws. The dog's paw. Uh huh. Good. Thank okay. you. Good. Uh, and uh, uh, the first man want to uh, show, uh, want to show uh, how how smart his how have a smart uh, dog uh, and uh, he how who, smart his dog is yeah how smart how his smart dog his is. dog is uh, yeah. and uh, he. Throw his uh, stick uh, to the water. Good in the water. He throws his stick in, in the water. water. <laughs> I made in similar mistakes in the, uh, in the earlier today, but yeah, he throws his stick in the water. <laughs> it's the prepositions that are the hardest to learn in different languages. Prepositions are hard. He throws his stick in the water. In Good. the water, and uh, his dog. Uh, to swim and take the stick. So his, his dog swam and took the stick in past tense. Yeah, his dog swam. Uh -huh. Yeah, his dog tense. swam and takes the sticks and took, uh, past tense, took. Uh, and took the sticks and uh, back. Brought it the... back. Brought it back. Yeah, brought it back. Brought. I bought a bag. Brought it back. Brought the strip stick back. Bring. Bring. Brought. Brought. Brought the stick back. And brought the stick back and uh makes a shake his and, body and shook and shook, shook his body <laughs> and shook his body so it's a good one to do just because yeah i think it's a good good to hear the same story first in one language then in another language yeah useful, really <laughs> useful. and the dog shook his body it's useful for me as well uh the dog <laughs> shook his body to get dry yeah you can say that as well to get dry to, to get, get dry yeah 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 because uh he's a wet uh Force. Wet, wet fur. Wet fur. Very good, but it's uncountable. Fur. fur is uncountable. Yeah, you can't say two furs, three furs. So wet fur. Uh huh. Excellent. The same uh, hair. hair is uncountable in English. Yeah, we say wet uh -huh. hair. Uh huh. Wet fur, wet hair. Wet, wet fur because he <clears> wet <throat> her. Uh, wet fur and uh, old friends uh, think, oh, I want to do to do the same uh, with my friend uh, but i don't have stick uh, i throw my umbrella i'll throw my umbrella i'll throw my umbrella i'll um, throw yeah. my <laughs> umbrella a uh, uh, do dog think oh okay umbrella okay i take umbrella uh Good. Good. The dog thinks. Since yeah, it's going to always the be. The dog thinks. Okay, oh, I take umbrella. Uh, and uh, umbrella may be very tasty for a dog. And uh, 
he don't uh, want to uh, give he back. Want, he doesn't want to he give back. He doesn't want uh, he. He doesn't give. want to give back the umbrella. <laughs> Good. He doesn't want to give back the umbrella. He doesn't want to give it back. Excellent. Uh, old friend to uh, try take uh, umbrella, but uh, he can't. Won't take a Sorry, umbrella. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to take the umbrella. Yeah, good. He can't take the umbrella. Good. He can't take uh, the umbrella, but after he can do it uh, oh, but umbrella is broke is broken is broken is broken the umbrella is broken that's excellent the umbrella is ripped is torn you can also say yeah like ripped like a oh, ripped yeah, yeah like a by the dog we say ripped or torn for uh, like this yeah ripped mm -hmm. ripped torn ripped. um uh, tear and rip are the two verbs tear is the infinitive and rip Parent. Uh -huh. Tear, rip. Um, tear is uh -huh. um, uh, irregular. Tear, tore, torn. But rip is regular. Rip, ripped, ripped. Yeah, and so rip is the easy. Uh -huh. But they're ripped. both synonyms. Yeah. They're, they're exactly the same. That was wonderful. Really, really good, Irina. Yeah. Any oh, thank you. <laughs> any, any other words anybody wants to add for that story? Any other words that you can think of? Oh. Are there any other words you want to add? Or is, is there a message in this story? Oh, what's his message? Uh, I don't know. Maybe don't uh, give umbrella to dog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't give umbrella to a dog. Yeah. And, <clears throat> don't throw your umbrella in the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you want to uh, uh, save your umbrella. Excellent. I think that is the moral of the story. We often put it like that, by the way, guys. The moral of the story. Don't give your umbrella to a dog or don't throw it in the water. Okay, fantastic. I think we'll stop there for today, but everyone did brilliantly. Please come again next week. We start on Wednesday, same time I think we'll do. Yeah, and so uh, I'm not sure. I'm never sure, and I will put up a warning 24 hours beforehand, but I'll do my best to get it up there, and I hope, yeah, it'll be just as we finish camping next weekend. I hope we have a good time again, just like the last few days, because it has been great fun. But um, I will see you all next week then, guys, yeah? Thank, thank you, Dave. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank having, you. Thanks thank you, for Dave. coming. Thanks for coming. Bye, thank you. Always enjoyable. See you soon, guys. See you soon. Thank bye -bye. you, Dave. Bye-bye.